Hi, yeah, uh, Dr. Allison JK here. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So I would love to help you increase your sense of peace and vitality. You wanna? Especially needed at this time. So as many of you may know, I'm an India trained, traditionally trained Ashtanga yoga teacher. I've been teaching meditation and yoga for decades and there are eight limbs to yoga. Five of them are about working with our consciousness. Only one of those eight limbs in traditional yogic philosophy is about the body postures, the asanas. Another limb of all these tools that are the compendium that create the yogic path is called mudra or is called mudra m-u-d-r-a-s and i want to introduce you to the prana shanti mudra now these create certain connections within our system along our nadis as they're called in ayurvedic or yogic philosophy ayurvedic is a holistic medicine of the yogic teachings of philosophy so um mudras help create connections throughout our system that are beneficial to us. Nadis are what meridians are called, if you know about acupuncture, yeah? In TCM, traditional Chinese medicine. There's a gajillion more nadis. Um, I find, as many of you may know who have read my first book, What If There's Nothing Wrong? I find that the yogic culture in India is able to go more subtle. They identify the element of etheric, whereas the the five elements in the Ayurvedic or yogic culture, whereas in the traditional Chinese medical one, they don't have something as subtle as etheric. They actually have a metal element that Ayurvedic doesn't have. So there's these connections that we can have by holding our fingers in certain positions. And so one of them is called the prana shanti. Now prana means life force, for those of you who don't know, just like ki is in Reiki or chi is in Qigong both of which I do and teach and have for a long time, vital life force energy. So that's what prana means. And shanti, well, let me just see if you know it, if you can sense it. So this is how I always end my yoga classes that I'm teaching. Om shanti, shanti. Shanti. It means peace. And for whatever reasons, I sing it the way I sing it. I was never taught that. The two first two are softer, right? And that third one feels like a command from the divine feminine. Shanti means peace. So the Prana Shanti Mudra, take your hands, have them free. And these two fingers, pinky and ring finger, bring your thumb to them. Might be awkward at first. You're gonna have the pads touch. And then these two fingers bring together. You just feel that for a minute. See if you can perceive a strengthening and a connecting as if something feels a bit plugged in like when you plug in a uh, uh, cord to the walls outlet, you might not notice anything and that's fine. So what you're gonna wanna do is, I'm not gonna spread my arms out wide, right? And I'm not standing up just so I can fit in the frame, what I'm doing in the frame here, but you're gonna have your arms up to the sky wide and then bring and hold it there for just a few moments. Bringing down the prana, the life, vital life force energy in the shanti, the peace. And you're gonna wanna, I tend to run, this is what my intuition has always guided me to do with this one, is run my fingers by the front of my body and my fingers are pointing at the central column, which is the chakra column, right? And so chakras being the intersection of the mind, the body and the spirit, they're how you affect everything also the centers of where the uh for the central nervous system and the endocrine system are two main communication channels I'm not going to go into why now now my hands are pointing the fingers towards the ground and now let's
Let's do that again. Tuning in more now that you have a sense of what you're doing. Hold on. Let's make sure we're pointing this towards the heavens. Bring me down on that piece. Knowing what I know about the flow of energy in the chakra column, having the fingers Make sure you have awareness as you go by the crown, the top of the head, going down the central column. You can be standing as if in a Qigong posture, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. This is a slow movement. I am now at my solar plexus, upper belly chakra. And then once you're done with the root, pointing the fingers down to the earth, or there's a soft breeze that just started. To help, her, look, you can see it in my hair. Ah, the elementals are speaking. So you're bringing down more peace. So this is brilliant also, right, for the collective, as we so need it right now. I'm not suggesting that you abandon yourself. Let's do one more. And focus totally on the collective course, we're going to nourish your system. Dr. Allison, wouldn't it be more helpful if we turned our hands inward? See the difference yourself. Palms facing your body, especially if you have your hands attuned, like my butt practitioners do and many of you do. Once you go by the root, point the fingers down to the earth. Okay, let's do one more. With awareness and consciousness and stepping into your role as co-creator and commander, energy goes where our focus goes, follows our focus. Bring down the peace. energy. I didn't go by my crown enough. There it is. It may feel a little bit like it's Qigong, but it's actually yoga. It's a mudra. You could even, if you're like in a meeting that's contentious, contentious, that was an interesting word. I'm like, I'm just fresh out of the baths here. I just engaged in self-nourishment. We always want to self-nourish. The heart chakra gets opened. Self-care, self-nourishment helps open the heart chakra more. Yeah, and so um, if you're in a contentious meeting holding the mudra under the table, maybe. Yeah. But you, undo your hands. Now bring them back together again. Do you notice that kind of strength? You have the power in you. We all have the power to command more beautiful vitality, and life force down onto the planet through each of us as the bridges between heaven and earth that you clearly are allowing yourself to be and asking to be by finding me. We are in the most intense yet auspicious times of humanity's greatest evolutionary leap. You can feel free to sing with me or just listen. Oh. Shanti Shanti Shanti